Yo, yeah, what's going on dudes? Hopefully everyone is doing okay. So welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part two of the roundabout video. So I must say a massive appreciation to you guys for the support I've had from that last video. It was unbelievable. So I really do appreciate it. So I thought what we do in this video is we go over roundabouts again, but this time we're going to talk specifically about lifesavers. So the first video we did, if you saw it, it was more about the kind of fundamentals, the basics of how roundabouts work, you know, lane positions, which lane to choose, you know, discipline, basic lifesaver stuff. So I thought in this video what we'd do is we would talk more in depth about lifesavers. Now the first thing you need to know is remember I'm not a professional instructor, okay? I'm just some guy who passed his mod too, but I studied the absolute hell out of it, <laughs> you know. Everything got cancelled because of lockdown, so I thought, you know what, I might as well put this time to good use, and I just studied and studied. So I've got a good understanding of all the stuff you need to do to pass your mod 2 and mod 1. So of course, if you're ever in any doubt, consult a professional instructor, okay? So I don't know if anybody's actually noticed us or not, but if you go into YouTube and look up tips on mod 2, specifically things like roundabouts, and lifesavers and positioning and things like that. Most instructors, although they have to stick to a certain rule, you know, there are times when lifesavers must be used. Some instructors have their own little way of teaching things. You know, they might have an extra lifesaver here or there. I've even saw a few schools that do lifesavers before going on to the roundabout. I've never seen that before. So just bear in mind that each instructor or each school it's going to have slightly different variations in how you do it but there are things that they do have to stick to so what i'm going to do right is i'm going to quickly explain the way that i learned and the way that i do lifesavers and then we'll go over the way you're actually supposed to do it bear in mind that if you're on your test and you do an extra lifesaver like the way i do it i do an extra lifesaver whether it's needed or not like this here i only have to do a right but i do a left as well so in theory, you only have to do a right there, but I do that extra left, and that's the way I learnt, and that's the way I did it on my test, and there was never a single issue with any of my lifesavers or observations. So you can add in that extra lifesaver if you want to, there's no rule that says that you can't. And at the end of the day, all you're really doing is you're making yourself just that bit safer, and in my mind, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. What I'm going to do is we're going to talk about the roundabout as if it has four exits. Basic roundabout, so it'll be 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. And each road leading up to the roundabout is going to have your two lanes, left lane and right lane. And I'm going to assume that if you've not saw this first video or any of my other videos, you know how to do all your observations and stuff, alright? So I'm not going to go into too much detail on that today. So we would imagine that we're taking the first exit at 9 o'clock, so mirror, mirror, signal, lifesaver over to the left hand lane, you stay centre of that lane, position 2, you're looking well ahead, so what lifesavers do you use? In theory, all you have to use is the right lifesaver, because the way it works, if there's a lane to your right, you have to do a right lifesaver. Makes sense, right? Because there's somebody or there could be somebody to your right hand side who doesn't really have great discipline on lanes and they intend to get into your lane and the only way they're going to do it is by cutting in front of you, alright? So you do a right lifesaver just to make sure. So that's the first exit. Now the first exit doesn't need to have a left lifesaver. Occasionally I will do one and I'll only do it if say I'm coming up on the roundabout I'm going to be taking the first exit and just say I pass a cyclist and I know he's behind me then after doing my right I will do a left just to make sure that he's not creeped up in that time especially if I've had to stop you know so the first exit you only have to do the right lifesaver but occasionally I will do a left depending on the situation so like this roundabout here first exit staying in the middle of our lane we're looking we've got a gap there's nothing to our left lane to our right and there we go. So normally, that's how you would do it. But the way I was taught to do it is the number one priority when you're out on a bike, it's not enjoyment, it's not having fun, it's not about going on the twisties and 
getting your knee down on the corners and telling your friends that you're an absolute hero. <laughs> it's not about that. The number one priority is safety. Alright, that is it. That comes before anything else. If safety is not on your number one list when you're out on a bike, then you have to get your priorities in check because that should be the number one priority. Because not only are you risking your own life, you're risking other people's lives, all right? So safety is the number one priority, dudes. So that was the way I was taught, to always do a left lifesaver before you leave an exit. And there are many other schools I've seen online that teach the exact same method. There are some schools that don't, and I think that's what's confusing a lot of people because they're like, do I do a lifesaver, do I not do a lifesaver? All right, so that is the rule. On the first exit, you only have to do a right lifesaver because there is no lane to your left. All right, it works exactly the same with the right lifesaver. Remember how we spoke about in the last video, if there's a lane to your right, you have to do a right lifesaver. It's exactly the same for the left. If there's a lane to your left, you have to do a left lifesaver. All right. But the way I was taught was do a left lifesaver anyway because at the end of the day, you know, you're making yourself that little bit safer and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And like I said, I did all this on my Mod 2 and there was no issue whatsoever. I even asked the examiner, because I did get two minors on my Mod 2 and I even asked him after he told me about the minors, was there anything else on the test? And he says not anything else was spot on. So he has no issues with you doing that extra lifesaver, as long as you're not being overboard with it, you know? Like if you're coming around here and you were left constantly checking, you know, that's a big no-no, you know? But throwing in that extra lifesaver is not going to make any difference, all right? So what about going straight on? Now, straight on can be a little bit more confusing because going straight on, you can potentially be in the left or the right lane, all right? If you look at some roundabouts, they'll have a double lane that go the same way so that you can have a double lane going on to the roundabout and a double lane coming off on the exit so if you were in the left hand lane all right we're going straight on we're going at 12 o'clock left hand lane you only have to do the right lifesaver and if you think about it if you look at the diagram there is a lane to our right when we're going straight on but there's no lane to our left so in theory you don't have to do the left there, all right? By law, you have to do the right because there's a, a lane to your right, but you don't have to do a left, all right? Because there's no lane to your left. But again, the way I was taught and the way I like to ride is I still go right, left. I still do the two lifesavers. If you were in the right-hand lane and you were also going straight on, taking the second exit because you can do that so what about the lifesavers then if you look at the diagram again we're going to be going straight on in the second lane round the roundabout and because this time we've got a lane to our left we have to do our right and then our left i mean in theory you don't have to do the right because there's nothing to your right but the left has to get used because of the lane to your left. See if that works? So if there's a lane to either side of you, right, left. If there's a lane to your right, just right. If there's a lane to your left, just left. So this time, the third exit, going round the roundabout to the right, we have to be in the right hand lane. And because you're going round to the third exit, when you get round there, there's no lane to your right, because this is just a normal small roundabout. So you only have to do the left lifesaver because there's no lane to your right, only to your left. But, again, the way I do it is right, left. You're making sure that all of your angles are covered by doing the two lifesavers. It's absolutely fine to do two. So there are rules to when you must do them, but doing the extra lifesaver is flexible. Put it that way, it's flexible. You don't have to do one, but doing an extra one, it's not going to get marked down on your mod 2. The examiner's not going to say you've done an extra lifesaver there. <laughs> you know, if you've done four lifesavers, <laughs> there's a bit of a problem because you have to be confident in it. He needs to make sure that you're confident in what you're doing and you're confident on where you're going, where you're looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find some roundabouts where I can show you 
where all that works. <laughs> it is kind of busy just now, so I think I'm going to be back and forward along a few roundabouts. There are a few I've got in mind that are ideal for certainly going straight on, where a lot of people get confused at, you know, which one do you use? So this one here, for instance, we can still indicate, even though there's a road there, because we can't go down there. But in theory, all we have to do is a right lifesaver. All right, because there's no lane to our left. So let's use this roundabout here as an example. We're going to be taking the third exit, all right? So this is a big roundabout, okay? We're on to the roundabout. There's the first exit, there's the second exit, there's the third exit. Indicate right lifesaver, because there's no lane to our left, we don't have to do one. But I always do one anyway, even though that one was slightly late there, because I was talking. So I'm going to use these roundabouts here, alright? So this one is a double lane going on, alright? Double lane going on, onto the roundabout, indicate right lifesaver. We don't have to do a left, but I do one anyway. Okay, we're going to go straight on here, and we're going to favour the right hand lane this time. So I'm indicating, coming over to my lane, I'm into position 2, alright? Approaching the roundabout, mirror, mirror, we're already in position 2, we're going to be going straight on here Because it's a double lane, we can use both So on to the roundabout, indicate, big left lifesaver And then on So see, because there was no lane to our right that time, we didn't have to do the right And if I don't have to do a right, I won't do a right But the lifesaver I always do, regardless of what exit I'm on, is the left I will always do a left lifesaver. I'm just riding around this one. It's just basically to get back. So we're just going to go right around it. These big roundabouts can be a little bit more daunting because obviously they're bigger roundabouts. I'm just checking my mirrors as I'm going around because there's a lot of cars coming on and off the roundabout here. Passing our last exit. Indicate right lifesaver and I do that extra left. So what we'll do is we'll do it exactly the same just to go over it again so we're going to be going straight on so mirror mirror we don't need to signal we're going straight on we're in position two we're slowing down whether it be gears brakes engine braking we're clear to the right stay in the middle of your lane indicate to the left right lifesaver and on again this time we're going to do it in the right hand lane so mirror mirror signal lifesaver because we're moving over to the right hand lane cancel our signal we're checking our mirrors again because we need to slow down. We're already in position two, no need to move the bike. Slowing down by whatever means it is. Checking to your right, onto the roundabout. Indicate, big left lifesaver, because there's nothing to our right. Onto the new lane, cancel your signal. So again, this is just a wee roundabout we're approaching. We'll go left here. So mirror, mirror, signal. Left lifesaver, moving over. This is quite a small roundabout, so again, judgement call, but I would personally split this into two lanes. Right lifesaver, don't need to do one to the left. So, this is going to look different to my first video, like I said. Because my first video, I approach roundabouts the way that I personally approach roundabouts. In the way that I approach them during my training and on my Mod 2 test. So if you're watching this thinking, this looks different from the first video, it's because it's meant to be because I'm showing you what the the rule book says, you know the way you're supposed to do it, the way you're supposed to do your lifesavers obviously go over your lifesavers with your qualified instructor maybe they don't see the point in doing the extra lifesaver I personally do, I mean the school I trained with has an almost perfect pass rate <laughs> it's like 99%, it's ridiculous and that's the way they teach all their students and that's the way all the students do their mod 2 tests, you know? So there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing the two lifesavers. So we'll do a few more first exit turns, we'll do a few more third exit turns in a second, but I want to show you something up here. I didn't actually put it in the last video, I should have really showed you. But we're coming up here, we're gonna go straight on, over into the right hand lane. Using our mirrors, we're slowing down. We're already looking at where the traffic's coming from. Keep the bike rolling, because we don't need to stop. On to the roundabout. Indicate left lifesaver. And just as we come onto this new road, because there's still a road there, make sure there's nobody coming up there. So do that extra wee lifesaver. There is a lot of roads that have that. You know, they just have like another wee slip road coming onto them. Just give it a wee lifesaver there. So just remember, if you pass a situation like that, just give it another wee check. 
So we're going to go straight on here, as you can see, it is past the 12 o'clock, so we're in the right hand lane. In position 2, using a mirror, slowing down, I'm looking at the traffic, I can see cars coming round and indicating, so I know they're going to be coming round this way, apart from the guy who doesn't know how to use indicators, but there's always one. Right, lifesaver, lifesaver, because we had to stop, onto the roundabout, come round the roundabout, indicate left, big left lifesaver, onto the new roads, and away we go. So again, there was no lane to our right, so we don't have to do a right lifesaver. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you around a few more roundabouts yet. You know, not all roundabouts are going to be the generic 6, 9, 12 and 3. You know, roundabouts do look a lot different than that. Like you saw back there, that little slip road that came onto it that you need to be aware of. Because some people coming up there, especially if it's a car, they don't always see bikers. So that left lifesaver is, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely need to do that there. We're going to take the third exit, mirror, mirror, signal. Lifesaver over into the right hand lane Keeping our signal on because we're going right We're in the centre of the lane Taking up as much room as we can We're slowing down I'm already looking To see if we've got a gap And we've got a nice clear gap there So no need to stop Out onto the roundabout Round we go Passing the last exit Indicate left lifesaver Onto the new road Cancel that indicator Come up to the next roundabout, as you can see by the sign, straight on is again 12 o'clock. So mirror, mirror, lifesaver, moving over to the left hand lane. If I can remember right, this is another unmarked roundabout, there's a lot in this area. But you can see just how wide it is, so it's definitely a two lane. Looking to our right, nice and clear, staying in what would be the left lane. Right, left, and on we go. So again, that left wasn't needed there because there was no lane to our left, but it was still quite a big open space. So this time we're gonna go right around the roundabout and come back the way we came. So again, mirror, mirror, signal, lifesaver, move over to the right hand lane. We're staying in position two, again, another Unmarked roundabout <laughs> Nice and clear Round the roundabout, take your time, no need to rush Past the last exit, indicate left lifesaver Because there's no lane to our right On to the new road Cancel the signal Get past this dude So the more you do it the more you get obviously get used to it but get into a habit I know it sounds strange but get into a habit of talking to yourself while you're doing this stuff for me it, it made it easier to remember it and easier to learn it you know especially if you've got a wee bike that you can go out and practice on or even if you've passed your mod too and you just want a wee refresher just do it just talk to yourself you know so we're coming up to the roundabout mirror mirror no need to do anything signal wise or checks because we're going straight on on to the roundabout, staying in our lane, left signal, big right check, big space to our left, so I'll do the left anyway, but it's not necessarily needed, like we explained, and then on you go. The roundabout we passed earlier on, that had the little slip road coming up, where I done the extra little lifesaver, we we're going to come on to a roundabout on one of those slip roads. So we're coming up to this roundabout, and it has a slip road entry as you can see by the sign you can see the little slip road on the sign so that's how we get to the first exit so mirror mirror signal i'm going to move over a wee bit just to make sure i've got enough room another wee lifesaver cancel our signal i'm going to hang back a wee bit because i just don't know how busy the traffic's going to be once we're on signal to let people know we were, we were going onto the road, even though we can only go one way. Right, I'm just checking, see all the checks that I'm doing? Checking my mirror. And just before we go on, big right lifesaver. Alright, so you can get slip roads leading onto the roundabouts, but you need to be aware of. So obviously, because you're moving up onto the roundabout, right lifesaver. 
So I'm just going to ride about for a bit, going through various roundabouts, and then at the end we'll have a wee summary just to go over everything. I'll probably just park up and talk and just go over everything. Any questions, feel free to comment below. I really do appreciate everybody watching that first video and commenting and liking it. It's been so good to see and I'm glad that it's helping people, you know, and I'm glad that people are asking, you know, if they're not quite sure what do I do here. But the first video was the basics, you know, the clock methods, what lane you should be in, and obviously this one as you already know, it's more about where you use your lifesavers. So we're going to take the second exit here. There is a minor exit at the very first exit. So as you can see, the cars are passing it just now. So it's not actually a road, but I'm not going to indicate anyway because you can go along there. So we're on. Indicate, right lifesaver. And remember, new roads always cancel that signal. We're going to go right round this roundabout. So mirror, mirror, signal, right lifesaver, and what I'm going to do is we'll go over that little slip road bit again, just in case anybody's unsure. So we're looking to the traffic, I can see we're probably going to have to stop. Oh no, we're good, lorry's going straight on. So we're coming round, we're coming round to the last exit before ours. There it is. Indicate left, left lifesaver, onto the new road. Cancel the signal, that slip road's there, left lifesaver to make sure nobody's creeping up there. I'm going to take the second exit here, so we're moving over to the left hand lane, staying centre of our lane again. I'm looking well ahead, I'm looking for gaps already. I can see I've got a gap there, so on to the roundabout, indicate right lifesaver, and I do the left as well. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start heading along to that industrial estate where we normally go and we'll park up the bike and we'll just have a wee summary of what we've been doing in this video. So again we're coming up to this big busy roundabout, we're going to be taking the third exit. Because we've stopped for a few seconds here, I'm just doing all my observations. There's our gap, lifesaver, lifesaver. On we go, on to the roundabout. Don't do what that guy in front of me just done. Right lifesaver, left because there's a bunch of cars there. That guy in front of me was in the wrong lane and he cut in front of me. Don't do that. You know, if you're in the wrong lane, follow the lane round. Don't cut across people because you will fail your test. And these are all little simple roundabouts, these ones. You know, they're well signposted. You can see clearly marked on the lanes that the left-hand lane is going down to Lidl's and Aldi to get your shopping or your messages, as we call it in Scotland. <laughs> so this video has been a wee bit more in-depth than the last video, but we will go over everything again in a second, and we'll just summarise when you should be using certain lifesavers, and then we'll go over again why I use the lifesavers that I use. All right, so we'll start off at the very beginning again. We're approaching the roundabout, a basic four exit roundabout. So we've got six, nine, twelve, three. I'll put the diagram up on screen as well. And we're going to be taking the first exit. We're in the left hand lane, we're coming up, we're going to take the left, uh, the first exit to the left. Now, once we're on the roundabout and we're just about to take our exit, all we have to do is a right lifesaver. And the reason we only have to do a right is because there's no lane to our left, is there? The way lifesavers work is you do a lifesaver where you have a lane, right? So if there's a lane to your left, you do a left. If there's a rain lane to your right, you do a right. If there's lanes either side of you, you do both. Now I still occasionally do the left lifesaver. It depends if I pass anyone on the way to the roundabout. Say I'm approaching the roundabout and I have to pass a cyclist or maybe, you know, somebody walking on the road or whatever. You have to pass someone, all right? You've passed someone, so there's every chance they could still come up the inside of you. Alright? So do that life lifesaver. Alright? It's entirely up to you if you want to do it or not. By the rule book, you don't have to, because there's no lane to your left. But I personally do one. Like I said, the number one priority when you're out on a bike is safety. Alright? That is your number one priority. Doing that extra lifesaver is not going to make a difference to your Mod 2 test. You're not going to get a minor for adding one lifesaver. As long as you do it appropriately, you know, if you're approaching an exit and you're left, right, left, right, and you're, you know, using way too many lifesavers, then yeah, the chances are, you know, it's 
he's, you might get a minor for it, alright, because you can overdo it. But by adding that extra one, it's not going to make any difference, okay? So, you will guaranteed approach your roundabout at some point in your riding career, or even while you're learning to ride, where you're going to approach from 6 o'clock, and you're going to have two lanes approaching the roundabout, like we showed earlier on in the video. And those two lanes go round the roundabout and they come off at the same exit. So you need to use different lifesavers depending on what lane you're in. So we'll go over the left lane first. So we're going straight on. We're in the left hand lane. We want to take the second exit onto the roundabout. Round the roundabout when we've passed the last exit before ours, in this case the first exit, the indicator would go on. Because we're in the left hand lane, there's nothing to our left again. So in theory, all we have to do is a right lifesaver to check the lane to our right to make sure nobody's... I mean, it's fine for somebody to, to come along in the right-hand lane. That's absolutely fine. That's what it's there for. It's to make sure they're not trying to cut over. You know, go from the right lane to the left lane. Because that can happen. You will see people doing it. Don't do that. You know, s stay in your lane. You know, that's what lane discipline is all about. Choosing the lane, staying in that lane. Don't cut over lanes. Don't, you know cut across lanes to get to your exit, you know, don't do that. So if we're going to take the right hand lane this time, because, you know, you can do that as well. You can do that. You can take the right hand lane if the two lanes go round onto the roundabout. Same principle, we're looking, we've done all our observations in the right lane, onto the roundabout, stay in the right hand lane. Follow the right hand lane round when you've passed the last exit before yours. In this case, in this case again, it's the first exit. You'd indicate to the left because you're coming off and you've obviously got the left hand lane to your left. So depending on what lane you're in, that determines which lifesavers you use. That's the confusing bit, that's where a lot of people get confused. So regardless of the exit, lifesavers have to be used, but determining what's to the side of you, what lanes are to the side of you, that determines what lifesaver you use. If you're going to the right this time, there's only one lane you can be in. You can only be in the right hand lane. You can't go to the right in the left hand lane. I've seen people doing it. No idea how they manage to get their licenses. I have no idea. But right hand lane, everything, OSM, PSL, all that still applies. Onto the roundabout, right hand lane, follow the, rain, the lane round. Get my L's and my R's mixed up here. <laughs> follow the lane round. Indicate after you've passed the last exit before yours, because we're taking the third exit, this time it would be, it would indicate after the second exit, and because the only thing that's to our right is the island of the roundabout, we don't have to do our right because there's no lane there, but because there's stuff to our left, I have to do our left lifesaver, alright? So that is the principles of it. Like I said, if you go into YouTube and look up Mod 2 stuff, you'll see various schools online with qualified instructors giving lessons, and they all, or most of them that I've seen, they have like l different ways of teaching you. I've seen some who do lifesavers before going on to the roundabout, some who stick to the rules, some who do the extra left, you know. They all teach different ways, but that's the fundamentals of it. I personally always do both. It's just the way I was taught, the way I like to ride, and it's never let me down. So I just thought I'd go over with that, and you know, go into more depth with the lifesavers. There are times where you have to use the lifesavers, that's what the examiner wants to see. The examiner wants to see that you know when to use them correctly. And, like I said, adding in that extra left, it's not going to cause any problems. But like always dudes, if there's anything you didn't understand, if you find it confusing or you're needing help with it, please comment below, I'll absolutely get back to you and I'll try and help out as best as I can. If you do have any tests coming up, all the best with it, I'm sure you'll do absolutely fine. And any lessons or you're thinking about taking some lessons, just go for it dudes, do it. But like always dudes, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate every single one of your likes. And of course, if you want to see all of my videos, click on that subscribe button and ring the bell while you're there. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. But until next time guys, stay safe, ride safe, and take it easy.